First Samuel chapter 12 is a special chapter in the history of Israel. For the first time in the nation's history, God allows the Israelites to formally have a king, all due to their envious insistence to be like the other nations. Though God permits the Jews to have their own king, the prophet Samuel makes it clear that the Lord was not at all pleased with their request since it is an admission of their rejection of God as king over them. Straight away we see the Israelites confess their sin before the Lord and the Lord in turn forgives them. A key idea we learn from this passage is that, though it is often the case that our Lord is pictured as only being the God of grace in the New Testament and being portrayed as only being the God of wrath in the Old Testament, it's passages like this one that reassure us the truth that God never changes. From testament to testament, He is perfectly faithful, truthful, loving, just, holy, and righteous. Expressly, Numbers chapter 23, verse 19 says, God is not man that He should lie, or a son of man that He should change His mind. Has He said and will He not do it? Or has He spoken and will He not fulfill it? In much the same way that God has shown His grace to the Israelites in the past, He shows the same grace to us today. Notice, however, an important aspect to the Israelites' response to Samuel's rebuke. When the Israelites were called out for their sin, they responded by humbling themselves. They listened to the rebuke and confessed their sins. The Israelites were blessed to have been given a prophet like Samuel who loved them enough to rebuke them. God's grace works the same way today. Often, His grace is preceded by rebuke from a brother or sister in Christ. Just as Israel gave a listening ear to their prophet, may we also humble ourselves and give a listening ear to a brother or sister who lovingly rebukes us.